In this video, we are going to draw out a basic diagram of a spinal cord. To get started, you will need a piece of paper and a dark pen or sharpie. This video will give you a template for future nerve pathway drawings. We are going to draw out and label a cross-sectional representation of the spinal cord. To begin our drawing of a spinal cord segment, we will draw a thin V near the center of your drawing. From the superior edges of the V, we will extend a line with two bumps on either side. Next, we will draw a wide U to close off this area. This is where our dorsal columns will reside. Below the apex of the U, we can draw a small circle which resembles the central canal of the spinal cord. Here, we will leave a gap to allow the entrance of our dorsal root, which is continuous with the gray matter of the dorsal horn. The next part of our spinal cord will resemble a butterfly with three bumps on each wing. From the left side, carefully make a wide bump, a smaller bump, and a large bump that ends near the center of your drawing, beneath the circle for the central canal. Repeat the same lines mirrored on the right side. To finish the spinal cord, we will start back where our butterfly began to enclose the bottom of our drawing in a large W shape. Next, we will draw the major nerve projections from the spinal cord. First, we are going to draw a backward C extending from the outside portion of this gap on the right side to the bottom portion of our W. We will further define this bottom nerve by drawing a line following the curve of the C and extending laterally before we reach the middle of our C. We will do the same for the top nerve, except for a small difference. Halfway through our next line, we are going to draw a bump. This bump will be our representation of the dorsal root ganglion. We will continue our lateral lines until we split them into two branches. Draw an outside line to distinguish the different nerves. Now let's label some important structures. The top of our spinal cord drawing is facing posteriorly, or dorsally. The bottom of our spinal cord drawing is facing anteriorly, or ventrally. This orientation helps us differentiating different structures. The internal butterfly shape is composed of gray matter. Gray matter contains collections of neuron cell bodies. The different sections of this shape are named for their location. First, the dorsal horn is posterior. Next, we have the lateral horn, which is your smaller bump. And the ventral horn anteriorly. It is also important to note that the lateral horn is typically only present from spinal levels T1 through L2. The external portion of the spinal cord contains neuron axons organized into white matter tracts. These tissues are named white and gray based on their gross appearance. The nerve leaving the anterior portion of the spinal cord is called the ventral root. The nerve posteriorly that is continuous with the dorsal horn is called the dorsal root. The bulge in the dorsal root is called the dorsal root ganglion. A ganglion is a collection of neuron cell bodies in the peripheral nervous system. These two nerves converge into a singular spinal nerve. This spinal nerve will then branch into dorsal and ventral rami, respectively. These same nerve structures exist on the opposite side as well. You may draw these out on your own if you wish, but I will fast forward to a completed drawing. As I said in the beginning, this spinal cord drawing will serve as a template for future pathway exploration, especially if you're not used to drawing out anatomic structures. I have also added a few more labels. I hope that this video was clear and easy to follow along with. Uh, you don't have to be a great artist to benefit from drawing out structures. The most important thing is to get started, and I hope this gives you a place to begin. Thank you for watching and have a great day.